It's day two of Glastonbury and the sun is shining. At this year's festival, Greenpeace are aiming to get you excited about tackling climate change. By stopping the building of coal-fired power stations, protecting the forest lungs of the planet and stopping the never-ending expansion of airports. I'm here with Robin Oakley from Greenpeace to find out what it's all about. What we're trying to do is stop the expansion of Heathrow Airport uh, and right behind me is a recreation of the village of Sipson which is right in uh, the place where they want to build a third runway at Heathrow. It'll make that airport the single biggest source of climate change pollution in Britain. Some of the villagers have come with us to Glastonbury um, and what we've done to stand shoulder to shoulder with them is buy a piece of land in the village so Greenpeace now will have to be evicted before they can move in and we're signing up all the people we can get from the Glastonbury Festival to become joint owners with us. So we want 50,000 people to be on the deeds for that piece of land down in Sipson and so we can all stand side by side with the villagers and defend their homes and defend our climate. So let's have a chat with the landlady of King William IV in Sipson. Um, well, I live in Sipson, as you know. Um, if the third runway goes ahead, I stand to lose my home, which is the departure lounge over there, uh, my job, which will be here in the King William IV pub, uh, my daughter's school, Heathrow Primary School, and my husband has his, uh, will have to have his grandma uh, exhumed from the local cemetery to make way for a bypass. So it's uh, uh, in standing, it's absolutely everything. You know, I lo I've got nothing else to lose. I'll lose absolutely everything. We've been here generations, pub, Post office, our homes, they'll be gone. I know. Throttled in cement. I see people over there and they're looking at the photographs and I just happen to walk over and go, that's my little girl. And they're like, oh, are well, you from here? And it is just putting a picture to the situation where a lot of people have said, oh, we've heard about it on the news, we've read about it in the papers. This is actually bang, wow. It's, it's a really sort of bang effect to everybody. I think it seems like quite an effective campaign, like getting all the undersidious trees on the piece of land that they've got. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. I'm not... I don't agree there should be another runway, so anything to stop that is a good thing, really. I think they're doing a good job. I think they've got like a solid theme going, they've got supportive crowds, uh, and they're saying what they want to say. I think the message is definitely hitting home. So there you go. It's all very well chilling out on the inside of a plane or in an airport lounge, but at the end of the day, you need to pick up your pen and sign up for a piece of land to stop Sipson being destroyed. You know it makes sense. <laughs>